Hey guys, how you guys doing today? Today I'm going to do a painting, but before I do, I want to give a thank you to Rose Caudel. She sent me this very cool stamp. I guess she had gotten a um, bunch of stamps and doesn't dig skulls. So she sent me the stamp and it made my day because I do like me some skulls. And then she sent beautiful letter. And then she sent me some um, pictures that she had printed out, which are so cool. Cool and creepy, my favorite things in the world. La 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 la. Very excited and very thankful. Thank you, Rose, so, so very much. And then Zoila sent me a beautiful Mother's Day card. And she underlined all these beautiful things in here. And she was just so beautiful. And she sent her ATC card because we're ATC partners this month. And she, it is gorgeous. Let me just pull it out. She was nervous to do ATCs, but I don't know why. Look how beautiful. See, it's a basket of fruit and she has a flower on it and some bur is that burlap. And she decorated it, and it is beautiful, and I am so, so blessed. So, thank you so much, Zoila and Rose. I also must thank Connie Felton, and I'm going to tell you why. I have been um, redoing my room. I'm almost there. I got my jewelry station just about set up so I can get my jewelry made and on to doing jewelry and stuff like that because I got so much and oh god I just had it what did I do with it she had sent me here it is I said it here so I would definitely do this Connie felt it got lost in my pile of room stuff and she sent me and this was a while ago I, mu I must have put it in my room and then I'm known for uh, piling stuff on top of things. So I wanted to make sure I thanked Connie Felton for this. She sent me some ATC cards that says she was not in the mood, which is my normal mood. And she made these really great um, ATC uh, sleeves, which are awesome. She sent me a bunch of paper, another ATC which I love. I love birds. This is beautiful. Another uh, ATC sleeve. And she's making all these envelopes. So fancy of her. I must have glued that back together. Okay. And then She made these beautiful cards, put them in here, and she sent me this paper, which I love. I can never get enough paper. So, Connie Felton, I I apologize from the deepest of my heart because as I'm cleaning, I even had my husband come in here with me last weekend, and he really helped me out so much. But as I was cleaning, I um, came across that, and I was like, oh, my God. So I wanted to really give you a shout out and I wanted to thank Rose and Zoila as well um, because I am so blessed. I, the group is fantastic. It is we have the greatest people in there and they make videos and they show what they do with the other people and, you know, for other people to see and learn and it's just so supportive and wonderful and I am so, 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 so blessed. So, okay, so I am going to, I'm going to sketch this out. This is, I, I have a bunch of, um, I have a few paintings that I've done and I have, um, some jewelry made and they're going on my, they're going to be listed soon. And, um, so I haven't really, because I've been going through so many uh, health problems and all, and there's no end in sight. 
Um, I wanted to do some random acts of kindness for some people and try to, to make, um, you know, just, I, I know I can't send to everybody and do everything, but I, I'm going to start, you know, just little things and, and some, and whatnot and some things just to show people, you know, that I do appreciate them and I love doing random act of, acts of kindness anyway. And so I thought, you know, let me move this up a little bit so we can get better on there. Um, so I'm going to be doing that, but right now I'm going to decide what way I want my painting to be. I wonder if I want it to be this way. Now this is just a piece of cardboard and, um, I love using cardboard. I save cardboard from everything. And, um, all I did was gesso it. I didn't worry about how well I gessoed it because I'm going to be painting it, but I want to get an idea of where and what I'm putting on here. So, I'm going to start by, I know what I'm drawing. Not to be. Just kind of want to sketch it out a little bit. Because a lot of the paint will help. I hate doing things on it right dead in the middle. I'm like goofy that way, but I just want to have an idea because I want to do a background, but this is going to ultimately be my. And once it's gessoed, you know, you can go and erase and do whatever, whatever you want. Just want to kind of have an idea. Cause that's just how I is. I wonder if I want that a little bit further. So I, <laughs> I got a beautiful email a ways back. I think I had mentioned it on one of my videos and It was from, do I want these pointy or do I want them more? See my cat, one, one of my cats has, I mean their ears are kind of, so I got this uh, message and um, from Art Snacks after I had done my video because I was very upset because um, they sent my February box in, uh, February, March, in March. And it was, it got all screwed up and they wrote me and said that, um, it, you know, it was their fault and da, 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 whatever, whatever, whatever. But I was kind of mad and I'm not digging that ear, but it kind of gives me an idea. Why am I not digging that ear? Is it two? Um, I was mad because, you know, they had emailed me and said, oh my gosh, our fault. We're so sorry. We're getting it right out to you. And then it never came until later on. So I, I was mad and I made a video about it and whatnot. So the co-owner wrote me and well, actually she wrote on my video, you know, contact me through here. So I was like, all right, fine. So I wrote her and I said, look, I said, I love art snacks. I love it. I love it. I do a video for it every month. I've gotten people to, um, sub to it. You know what I mean? For them to get it as well. And I love it. And um, I think I'm going to do that like that. And then do this like this. You know, so I really love your product. I love getting these in the mail. Uh, I know sometimes, you know, it, you know, it doesn't. I mean, if you put in shipping, like for instance, I went on Amazon and I was going to buy like th buy three things or I, I don't know what it was. I think it was Amazon. And, um, anyway, the shipping came up and it was more than what I was buying. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. So if you look at the, if, if you look at it that way with art snacks, um, you know, you gotta include the shipping in the $20 that they charge you a month, which is fantastic. I mean, I really think it's a great deal. And I think for people like me 
who do not go out of the house often at all. I really, I can't, I, I have a hard, I can't walk anymore hardly. And I mean, it's a big chore for me to, to do it. Um, art snacks is a great thing. So anyway, so she, she wrote me and she was so apologetic and she wrote me a beautiful, you know, email and back and everything like that. And then the next thing I know, I get this box in the mail and it's from the other co-owner and it says, um, you know, I, you know, we're so sorry. And, uh, you know, I mean, not even like asking me to like, not even like how you say, not saying to me, like, you know, you know, please, like making it seem like I should feel guilty. Like she sent, they, they sent me this big, big box of all this fantastic stuff and, um, said, you know, we're really sorry that this happened. And, you know, we really value you as a customer and everything else. And da, da, da. So I wrote them back and I said, you know, I'm going to rejoin, like for a company to do that to somebody, um, for somebody, do you know what I mean? Uh, really, um, gosh, I moved my paint clean over here and <laughs> I forgot I should have picked it out first, but for a company to do that, um, it means something. It means that they're, they're, um, I'm doing a pink black background. It means that they, that they care. They care about their their customers. You know what I mean? So I was like, I was happy. I was like, all right, you know, they sent me like all this great stuff and I didn't want to do a video on it because I felt, you know, I mean, I sat here in awe and I was like, oh my gosh, but I didn't want to do a video because I didn't, I, I felt it was like almost disrespectful to them in a sense, like, you know, that them, them doing that. But I did go and I did, um, just going to put some white to make this a little lighter. Um, I did go and rejoin because I thought if this company does this, do you know what I mean? They're a company that I want to, I want to give my money to because in the meantime, so, you know, I, I'll be doing the art snacks videos again. <laughs> so I'm very happy about that. They were very, very gracious and very wonderful to me. And I did not expect any of that. I didn't expect them to watch my video or to even email me to say, Hey, we are so sorry that this happened. They're a newer company and you know, all these things. So um, I'm very, like I said, I'm very grateful and I will definitely be doing my art snacks box boxes. And, um, I'm so glad to know that they watch my videos and, uh, they're just awesome, awesome company. And I'm going to tell you, and I'm not kissing their ass cause I'm still paying. I, you know, I rejoined and I'm paying like everybody else and everything like that, but they, they really stood behind, um, a mistake that they made and made it made up for it in a sense. Now, I have written to, and I'm not ashamed to say, because I, I really, you know, I really don't care. I'm not going to necessarily name names, except for the ones who have answered me and have been kind, like Vintage and uh, Polyform. So when um, I had been writing companies for quite a while, and let, telling them, and I think I've mentioned this to you guys before, that, you know, not everybody can afford pro all, all the products out there. We all want all the products out there, but not everybody can afford them. And not only that, that I do, I have a YouTube and um, do live shows. And I've been doing this for, I've been writing companies for two months, maybe three months, maybe four months. I, I don't know. And that, you know, for this, first of all, for people who are disabled, like I am, there's not products out there that are really made for disabled people. For people who are just starting out, wanting to do mixed media, want to do jewelry, want to do whatever, um, there's not, <laughs> how about a piece of acrylic off of my paint? There's not, um, you know, things get expensive. So I like to tell people, you know, this is a great product. You, you know, if you're going to spend your money, I get SSI. So if you're going to spend your money, you know, this is where to spend it. This is the product to spend it on. And I told you guys before, 
Um, Vintage sent me all kinds of stuff. And I'm very, very, very uh, blessed and lucky I'm going to use. And it was a surprise. I did not, you know, she said she was forwarding my information to the person who's in charge of that kind of thing. But she was sending me a package and she did. And I showed you guys and I was blown away. And I have another company who uh, wrote me who said, oh my gosh, yes, I'm, we're going to send you such and such. And, and uh, you know, so I, I'm very, very happy with that. And I have a couple other companies who I'm waiting, I'm waiting on, who they said, oh, I'm sure, you know, when I forward this to the right person, you know, blah, 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 blah. So wonderful. But I, I'm not going to, until I have product in hand, I'm not going to mention their names. So, but Vintage right now, they're one, they're one who uh, sent them to me and very wonderful. And I'm so blessed and thankful. And I'm going to do something with that. So these other, some of these other companies, I am so blown away at, at their rudeness. <laughs> I got one company who wrote me back and said, we don't need disabled people to show our things. You know, some people don't need, some companies don't even answer you. And the ones that do, I'm going to make sure that I let you guys know who is answering me, not just because of the product or whatever. I am going to see, um, I'm going to go for, uh, to see if I can get packages for giveaways so I can give away some stuff. And, and I got all these things, you know, and I'm in the works so of doing a lot of things. Um, you guys know that I love doing giveaway for you giveaways for y'all because y'all support me and that kind of thing. So I got a lot of things going on in the works and planned and I'm very excited and I love, uh, you know, just kind of doing these kind of things. So, but some of these companies, I really tell you, <laughs> drive me insane because they either don't answer like they can't be bothered. And I'm thinking, and you know, my husband said, he said, Cal, he's like, you know, these, these companies don't need you. They don't, they get enough people to buy. But I just, the rudeness of these companies really drives me crazy because I don't understand why be so rude to people. You know, you don't need to be we're all, you know, we're all people. We all struggle. We all go through our stuff. It, it just drives me crazy. So I have a lot of good things in the works. Um, finding my pen would be a nice thing. So that's good. And you guys will benefit from them as well. So I'm very, very excited about that. Do I want to use the Sharpie pen or do I not? Oh, you know what I wanted to, to show you guys? Wait, wait, where'd that go? Where'd that go? Where'd that go? Oh, are they all there? Oh, please. I went to AC Moore, which I haven't been to in forever. I don't know if this is all of them because... <clears throat> cleaning requires a lot more than I anticipated. I got these. These are Prismacolors. And this is violet, this is light peach, this is light walnut, and this is sand. And they're double-sided. They got the fine point, or that might be the thick point. And these are all on sale, like on clearance at, at uh, AC Moore. And they have like tons of stuff on clearance I picked up. Um, I don't know where else my other clearance stuff is, but they do. They have... <laughs> They have some really, really good stuff on clearance. What else did they have? Uh, they're getting rid of their, they're bringing in the, the what is it, Koinor uh, color pencils, and they're getting rid of Prismacolor. They don't even have the Prismacolors anymore. Um, but AC Moore, I haven't been to Michael's, but AC Moore is having great, 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 great sales. Great clearance. All right, I'm just looking for my paints here. Where are you, little fresh face paints? Right, are you black? I believe you are. Okay, so now I'm going to take a little black and just do a little square right there. They have some paintbrushes on sale and clearance. It's like 
Oh my God, it's so exciting. Like I had to limit myself like, okay, don't get everything that's on clearance. All right, so I'm going to take a little bit of black and I'm just going to take a little thin paintbrush. If you have your, which I don't, I, um, I think mine's over there. If you have your waterproof markers, like your micro pens or, um, oh, what's my favorite pen marker? What the hell is it called? I'll think of the name. It comes in bold and all that kind of, fabric Estelle's. Um, you can definitely use that. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to outline what I drew of the cat. So I have an idea. But yeah, I was disappointed at some of these companies. I, I, and some, you know, some did write back and say, oh, we have design teams for that and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, that's cool. I don't think they got really what I was saying about people just starting out or uh, being disabled and how hard it is to be disabled. And, uh, you know, not having products really aimed for us. I mean, we can go out and use the, you know, the OXO uh, stuff to cook and to open things with and, you know, all that kind of stuff. But with when it comes to um, making art, you really don't have that much, you know, I mean, you really kind of have to do the best that you can with what you can financially and what you're able to do physically. That's why I always tell, you know, even in the group, we're doing a lot of fun uh, things and I'm so, so, so blessed with everybody who's contributing. But, you know, if you only have crayons and a piece of, uh, a piece of um, printer paper, then that's all you use. Don't worry about it. Do you know what I mean? Like just the point is, is to create because each time you create, you'll get better and better and better. So I do have, like I said, some, some fun things coming up, some fun giveaways and excited for All that we just, I just, uh, Jean who won the creative paper clay just got it. So, uh, yesterday, so I'm going to, uh, kind of looks like a pig right now. So I'm going to kind of, uh, you know, she likes, she wants to make small things with it and I'm going to kind of send her to a few cool places and so she can use it and make her small things, use them in, you can use them in the amazing mold, putty molds and any kind of mold. I'm just so happy of all the people with the, uh, amazing mold putty and the amazing casting resin, how many people, really, really dug that. That That's pretty cool. I'm going to make it just some fringe up here. No, I want to make If you need your bigger brush for a bigger spot, just get it and paint it in. My brush is a little bit wet, but I don't care because I'll go over it. I'm just going to kind of mark in where I want my black to kind of be. And if you're doing something like this and you don't have, like I said, paints or what have you, 
Use your water. Go get your your Crayola uh, watercolor, you know, from Michaels and use a coupon or from AC Moore or Joann's. Use your use crayons. Use watercolor. Use whatever you have does not always have to be paint or what you see somebody else doing. The point is, is get yourself doing it. So then if you're lucky or able or you get a random act of kindness or something from somebody, you're able to, you know, you know, you know how to draw or you've, you've experimented with your crayons or your colored pencils or whatever. And you can um, then know, I kind of want this fuzzy you know, kind of where you're going with it. Now, if any of you guys been watching, um, I always call it witches, and it's not called witches; it's called Salem. I have been loving it. We've been watching Salem. Bates Motel just had its season finale. Game of Thrones, watching Hannibal, which I love. kind of going over everything, kind of just blocking in what I'm really wanting here. I went. Kind of like that. Kind of like that. That's just my base coat, just kind of Putting it in. And this is a neat, this is a good way to do it, just with a very light, not worrying too much, because you can always go back. I think that's going to be too low. We'll see. Okay, yeah. I just want to block in what other color do I want? I want like a hmm. Let's try this color. Let's see what this color does for me. We shall see. kind of looks funky right now <laughs> but you'll get the gist of it once I start it once I get everything in that I want kind of wanted to have like a 
hair texture, but I might have to mark it in. Maybe just a little bit here. Let me connect that. Okay, let's see. All right. Let me take my pencil. This is this is my ring, so I need to have or my where I'm gonna be drawing the circle from. So because I have my eyes I want our eyes kind of the same, so. I'm going to draw that eye there and having a touch there and going over here. My hands would work right, we'd be in business. Come on, baby, work for mommy. A lot bigger than that one, isn't it? Okay, do okay. Right, so I just want to have an idea where those are. What I'm going to do is go in a little bit, but follow that because I know that's my guideline, but I want the eyes to be a little bit smaller. So I'm just kind of going in, following that circle like that, and then taking off. that outside part and that's like I said the great thing with the gesso and having the acrylic down and and all that kind of stuff because you can definitely do this easy in a race without having to worry that you're gonna lose everything so I know I have that and I know I'm gonna want
So then I want... His little, little nose. That one right there. And then from there, I can see that's a little crooked, but when I go to paint it, I'll make it. From there, I'm going to take it and do those little cheeks. Little cheeks, oh, eraser, eraser, I need a small eraser. Oh, yeah, and then the Vikings, Vikings season finale was too. All well, these season finales coming up. I wish my dog would lay down. That would be fantastic. Doesn't seem like he's gone. No. Lay down, Nick. Lay down, bud. And then he kind of gets... Come on, not out. No, go lay down. Mommy's not letting you out. Oh, I might want that little thicker. All right, go lay down, please. A little wider. I'll fix that when I go to paint it. Hands are not being very uh, cooperative. Got there. Nico, lay down, honey. Okay. Just kind of leave it like that for now. I need some shading under there to show. And then that's going to be like that. Okay. Now I need the white. But you know what? I think I need a thick white. A thick white. A thick white. Let's do this one. Gonna lay it on there. I'm gonna get my big brush for now. Pat it off and paint. So this is gonna take a couple coats. Do you hear my dog's feet? Cheeks. I 
And that's why I did the underpainting first, because when I go in with the white, because the majority of him is going to be white, um, I want these to be white. I don't want them to have that color. Um, I can still see underneath the graphite to where I need to go. Lay down, Neek. I want this to be. Oh, he's gonna drive me nuts. Let me let it go. You like? Go. <sighs> Kills me to walk. And I don't. He wants in here only because of his food. Because of my one dog. Okay. I know. Horrible things in life, right? He's done eating, so he doesn't want to be in here anymore. So I think I want... I know what I'll do. I think I want more of this white. Kind of. Just me and you, Spire Dimes. Mom Spire Dimes. And make this a little bit chunkier. And then I'm just going to go over this again. And then I'm going to probably. I know it looks like a hot mess right now, but I had to lay down the bottom parts, lay down all the parts of what I wanted. So when I go back in with the darker, I know exactly what I want. And then I can go over. a little bit because I know that I'm gonna so I just want this a little bit up past his eye. I want black up on his nose so I'm gonna need after that dries I can heat a heater with a gun I know my gun's not plugged in I guess my cat's <laughs> My cat's gone under here playing and uh, decided they didn't want me to do this. Let's see. I don't know. That I'll have to see. Have my husband check on that because I have no idea. So I guess we ain't going to be blowing anything dry right now. <laughs> I can't get under there. The cats come in and play with everything they find on the floor. Okay, now I think I'm going to leave that dry. We're getting there. I know where I need pink. I want that to dry. But right now, I think I want to add, first I've got to get all these little crummies off but from the racing. And I think what I'm going to do is, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Let me see if I can find. I don't know. Hmm. Let's see if this green, so I can always paint over it. I want to add some detail to the back. And oh, I gotta fix that. So let me see. I can run this over this. This might be too dry. Yeah. 
and I can go around it, so that's good. So I just maybe I'll just take it off my pencil there so I can plug in, and then I'll do just some pattern. Bury it up, just kind of do like that, and then I should have you know what I'll do. I'll just do it on this one. Just to get the rest off, so I could use it later. And this stays on, so it's gonna go permanent, which is good. So that worked good. Let's see what else. These flowers are they? Those look like gears. I do want the gears right now. I don't want spiders. So for now, that'll be fine. I can always stamp out more, but I wanted to see how that was going to work. Okay, so now the question on. I don't want to add any more background till I see, excuse me, if I, until I see where I'm at. So I'm going to take the black. It's still a little wet. <laughs> this might be a two part video. But I'm going to go in real quick and uh, I need a bigger brush than that now, though. Uh, let's do this one. I'm going to go in and I'm going to paint his ears. And I'm going to leave a little bit for some pink in there, a little bit of pink maybe. I don't know if I want them all black. I don't know. I might lighten it. I don't know. But for now, apparently I poured out only enough black for... Okay, okay, okay. Just come on out now. And I'll take the uh, pink when I'm all done and go and clean it all up all around, add more pink, you know, like to like straighten up all the lines and all that kind of stuff. Add detail. And... But underpainting is the best. I learned it. Honestly, I think when I used to do the oil paintings with Bob Ross, the underpaintings. Because to me, usually I just kind of go, but since this isn't mixed media, I want to kind of keep it kind of straightforward. And maybe just go, maybe what I'll do is just a lighter. See, because even like I, like that, I went over the pink, so I'll just have to touch it up. No big deal. And right here, I want it like hairy looking in a sense. Just like for everybody who has a cat, you all know that they have markings that are like... <laughs> You think, how they get them working there? And what exactly does that mean? I love my cats. I'm not. I am a cat freak. Because I love my little kitty cats. 
and I'm going to do a same kind of thing, just kind of bringing it down, bringing it down to the news till it hits the news. Get some more going on there. Taking that over here under that gold or brown really is what I wanted it to be. Get some more black. This is very exciting. I love watching paintings come together. But I am probably going to stop after this one and then I don't even know how much time I'm at. I'm just painting away and oh my goodness, I'm almost at an hour. I'm just enjoying myself having fun painting. <laughs> uh, oh well. Oh well, oh well, oh well. Okay. I'm gonna go down around his eye. Bring it all there, because I'm gonna add some texture in there, and I think I'm gonna go like this. And bring that around his ear. Yeah. Now I might have to paint more because I want it around his eye, but I don't want to go around his eye yet till I get his eye done, if that makes sense. And that's like the same over here. Now this I might, because I did kind of go out the lines there a little bit, I might just make that a little thicker. Because like, who doesn't love a fat cat? with a piece of dog hair. <laughs> okay. Now when I come back, like after I finish this part and then let it dry and then I'll come back, you know, to finish it up in another video, I'll probably use some blending solution or something to go over, like with black to go over it that will just make it a little bit more flowy so I can do a little bit more detail on it if that makes sense. It makes sense to me. So I'm going to go around here and now I'm going to connect that. And I know I'm going to go over this eye like this, but I want to keep it close to that eye, so I should wait until I get that eye in there. Yeah. Okay. Now, I want this to be This has to kind of go into like a little bit of a dip because his cheek's white, but he got some black and, and that white cheek. Does that make sense? Does it make sense? I don't know. To me it does, but who am I? Oh, I'm, I'm not hating it. I'm not hating it. It needs some shading. I'm not hating it. That shading needs to go. My kids, this brush is too big. Too big. Don't screw it up, Kara. I do want this to kind of go more into this gold, though, I think. I might take it. A little bit. Mix it in there. Yeah. I'm so excited. Oh, these ears. I'm, I'm debating. Do I do them black and then put some white, like, like white hair in them with like light pink in the back? Hmm. That is the question.
Alright, getting there, getting there. Kind of looks like a raccoon right now. But I need like some more of this color kind of flowing into the the hair. The hair. And probably a little bit more of that gold going in. a little bit a little bit of those details so that dries in so then I can go back and I can always cover if it's not if it's too much not enough this needs to connect here a little bit better. Getting so excited. Okay, I will now stop boring you. Clean off my brush. This is the other next canvas I'll be doing, which is another piece of cardboard, which will be something different all day. Wipe my brush a little bit. Get the rest of the black paint off. I hate wasting anything. So, thank you for staying with me, if you stayed with me, while I did my underpainting and started my overpainting. Oh, sorry, I got in the way there. This is it so far, and we're getting there, you can see. You know, we got to do the details for the cheeks and the mouth and, you know, some more. I need a little bit more gold. Matter of fact, I think I might add a little bit more gold now. So when we come back tomorrow or when this is dry, since I can't use my gun and it's kind of, we've already been here an hour. So we can do it like that. And then I'll just take this stick and kind of like pull out some hairs. Into the white. I think I want this to go under here a little bit to kind of connect those together. That way the first layer is dry and then I can get, oh, I can do this up here too. Just add some more color. Oh, did you hear Spire James? He was like, all right, man. You done there, Ma? I'm tired of hearing you talking. Because usually I'm talking to him. Oh, I gotta cut that off. Okay, so here we are so far. Now, I'm gonna do one more thing. I'm gonna drive you guys crazy. That's what I'm gonna need to do. No, I'm gonna do one more thing. That way, then it can dry for when I come back because it's gonna need done anyway. I gotta put white around this one eye because I'm going to need white for the to kind of I don't need the black in there I need it to kind of be a base color so when I come back who knows put a little bit too much white I guess we'll just throw it on here
just touch this up. I can still see the eye underneath. So that is a good. I'm going to tap some of that in too for some white. Because that cat hair is everywhere. Alright. Okay. All right then. That way then when I come back I can just draw the eye and we are good to go. We're getting there. We're just going to do his, his little chin and then his little puffers over here, his little cheeks and his little nose and do his ears and his eyes and then some outside and I'm debating on whether because he is kind of like sitting here. I'm kind of debating on whether to bring a tail up. And I will decide that when I uh, go on to do the second piece. So that's very exciting. Getting there. Getting there, very exciting. Okay. The next one I'm going to do will be a dark one. So I'm going to uh, probably prime that next. So I hope you all have a great day. As always, be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. I hope you all are arting your little butts off. And if you would like to join us, come and join All Things Creative. It's on Facebook. All you have to do is email me on Facebook and I will add you in. And um, I'll also put the link below so you can find us. And I hope you all have a great day. If you like this, give me a thumbs up if you like watching me do paintings and whatnot. Um, I got a lot of fun stuff coming up though. So I'm very excited. And, um, I think that's all I had to say. And thank you girls for all the stuff that you sent me. And that is it. I shall talk to y'all later. Bye.